Okay, Ben. A former U of M wrestler says he reported sexual abuse by a team doctor back in 1975. Tad DeLuca says he was kicked off the team and his scholarship taken away. He's believed to be the first athlete to have complained about the unnecessary exams from Dr. Robert Anderson. Jason Colthorpe was there today as he and two others came forward to share uh, memories that have got to be pretty painful, Jason. Yeah, and it's when you use unnecessary, Devin, meaning unnecessary testicular exams or rectal exams when guys would go in, for example, for shoulder pain. Now, 45 years after he says a nine-page letter to his wrestling coach about Dr. Robert Anderson was dismissed, and two years after a second letter to UM was seemingly ignored again, Tad DeLuca tried to hold back the emotion today as he was finally heard. I lost a lot of sleep. I woke up at night with kind of rage. Um, but I'm finally on the downslope, and this feels just like the only word I can think of is vindication. Today, Tad DeLuca sat alongside his Michigan wrestling teammate from 1972 to 75, Tom Ivashevsky, and Andy Rovat, who wrestled at U of M from 1998 to 2002. All told the stories of Dr. Drop Your Drawers, as Anderson was known. To have to go into a room knowing that you're going to encounter this is just to me horrific. President Mark Schlissel has already apologized on behalf of the university and set up a hotline for more victims to come forward. But DeLuca's attorney today asked why wasn't all of that done when his second letter was sent to Ward Manual in 2018. I do not believe for an instant that anybody intentionally delayed this. UN spokesman Rick Fitzgerald says U of M has hired an independent firm to investigate the facts and failures. It is that letter that led to the, the start of the police investigation. I feel I have to come forward because I know what happened and it did happen. It happened to me, it happened to them, and it happened to just about everybody I knew. Everybody who was abused by this doctor, the doctor, everyone knew was doing this. Was, was abusing athletes and students should speak up and let everyone know they will not be ignored. It just, it has to stop. A couple other things now. Uh, we should say that uh, coach at the time has been reached by the AP and is denied ever knowing about being told of this abuse. We've also learned the Ann Arbor and Flint school districts are now investigating if Dr. Anderson had any connection to their students. The Detroit News reporting that UM police reports referred to Anderson having performed physicals in each of those districts. So asking those kids to come forward. This is decades, so mm -hmm. it's, it's really difficult to try and figure out how many people. Yeah, could and be. if you saw those guys, basically those former athletes bookended his entire career at U of M. Mm, yes, and that yes. hotline that's been set up, they've already gotten 71 calls, three emails, and that was as of Monday. Just a few yeah. days. You can just imagine what will happen now. Yeah. 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 The uh, driver who shut down I-94 to do donuts on the roadway had a message for the judge.